Hi, sir. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. We are from DLC. Are you ready for your member story? Superb, I'm all set. Describe yourself in one sentence. Happy dancing, chef. Describe your professional self in a hashtag. Ah, uh, energy chef of India. Which city you grew up in? Kharagpur in West Bengal. That's where I was born. Mumbai or Delhi? Uh, anytime Mumbai. How would you describe your occupation? My profession is like completely like a happy scenario. And that's why I call myself as happy dancing chef. What was the idea behind Turban Tadka? Turban is my pride. Tadka is my proficiency. And I love both of them. How do you feel to be a part of DLC World's first business platform? Yeah, I think it's, it's uh, you know, I've been to uh, one a major event which was created by Jimmy and I was like in awe of what is happening. Uh, until I was there, I thought that, okay, I knew Jimmy who had created landmarks in the hospitality space, but uh, I did not know uh, what was being created as DLC, you know, tell our leaders club, oof. I was like blown away and I, I really believe that this is a place to be in and I'm happy that I'm part of it. I'm yet to explore its full potential. Jimmy has created it. Now it's for the individual to take it forward. Define Jimmy mystery in one word. Hey boss, that man is energy man of the world. How you want to contribute through DLC being the global committee member of hospitality and travel. So first of all, uh, you know, from a DLC, uh, because it's a global platform, I would uh, like to focus what India has to offer to the world. Post pandemic, everybody now believes that what Indians have achieved with their food has protected them and kept them safe in this pandemic. And I want to bring that to the world. Your take on fusion food. So there's a lot of knowledge that goes into it. It's just not about blending two things, fusing two things. No, before you do fusion, you need to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. It just doesn't happen, just doesn't happen like that. One of your curated continental dishes with Desi Tadka. Created ginger and orange kulfi. What is your best culinary show you binge watch? I like to watch Ainsley Harriet cooking on television. India has a rich heritage of indigenous food. Yes. Do you think it's time to reinvent it? No, it's not time to reinvent them. Actually, it's time to showcase them to the world. What was the idea behind Jashan? So, there are places outside of India where Indian cuisine is not known beyond a butter chicken, a dal makhni or a garlic naan. So, we did Jashan, we revamped the menu, we showcased some top fine quality Indian food to the people of Hong Kong. Being superstar chef, what is that one thing you have changed in the food industry? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, being a superstar ch chef, what I've changed in the food industry is, I would say that I've got smiles while cooking. One innovative recipe that changed the way people consume food? I have a recipe called Mirchka Halwa, green chili halwa. What is the first step towards curating the menu? Okay, so first step for curating the menu is of course understanding the geography of the location. Best food cultures around the world? Personally, I would say Indian food. You know, there is nothing better than that. But if I were to look at a choice, given a choice, I, I would like Mediterranean. I would like uh, Far Eastern also. Your take on slow cooking? So slow cooking, uh, keeping it in the right utensils, increases longevity of the food. And this is very well defined in Ayurveda also, that if you cook, the earthenware pot uh, lentil will not spoil for seven days, while the one which is cooked in metal pot will get spoiled in two days. A city in India great for street food, yet unexplored. Ah, actually, I mean, uh, what we know of is that uh, I always speak of Calcutta as the street food capital of the country. Great concepts, great place, and it is available cheap. What is that one cuisine in the world not much spoken about? Ah, that's Indian food, not spoken about, actually. 
such a big country and you don't know anything beyond uh, butter chicken, dal makhani or a garlic naan. We all need to know beyond that. What according to you makes DLC a unique organization? Uh, I think uh, one, uh, the leadership itself is so dynamic that, uh, you know, uh, that is what drives the whole place. And at DLC, I think you get to meet uh, and exchange knowledge from across the world. So that's what makes it unique. Three things you don't leave your home without. All three things are the same. I don't leave my home without a smile, without a smile and without a smile. I keep smiling. Three things that are non-negotiable to you. So one is intent, honesty and happiness. One habit that you want to get rid of. Okay, one habit is my lethargy, which I want to get rid of. What is your comfort food? It's the khichdi, which is lentil and rice uh, porridge. That's what I enjoy. Who is the one person in the culinary world you would want to meet and what will you talk about? I love to, uh, you know, meet uh, Ainsley Harriet because I, I see him as a very happy person. Your favorite country to live apart from India? Uh, I, I would say it's Singapore. You know, I, I love the place. Your mantra to maintain a work-life balance? So uh, eat well, stay fit, and uh, don't forget to exercise every day. When did you realize that you wanted to pursue this career? Okay, so uh, way back in 1987, while I was uh, working around uh, for joint, in joint entrance exams for IIT Medical, I did not get to the first uh, entrance. And I got this opportunity uh, to join IHM Bhubaneswar. And uh, from there on, I did not look back. Which was your first breakthrough project? I mastered the art of Hyderabadi food. And early days, there were no specialty restaurant in Bombay, okay, during those uh, days. This was 93, okay. And I was very well written across in all newspapers and that was a big breakthrough. What is your most recent project? So the most recent, pro recent project is uh, the restaurant chain that I'm doing uh, called Karigiri. Uh, it's in uh, Delhi. What has been the three biggest high points in your career so far? So uh, one is, you know, being written about uh, in Times of India uh, way back when I was went, uh, uh, working in Vintage uh, at uh, Kulaba. Uh, two is Turban Tharka. Okay, that was uh, a great uh, turning point. Uh, three, I would say, is, is a mix of two, three things that was there. I did a movie uh, called uh, Bank Chore. I am also doing a new serial now, which is up on air called Channa Meria and my restaurant uh, Karigiri. What is your business mantra? So business mantra, I tell you, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's very important uh, to keep your staff happy, uh, to keep your investors happy and uh, to keep yourself happy. Do you want to be a part of DLC workshop? If yes, how? See, yes, I mean, I would, I would uh, definitely uh, love to do, you know, a lot of workshops across. I mean, Jimmy has a great resort for Dela. And from there on, I'm sure there would be a lot of opportunities that would happen, uh, that would open doors for all of us. Biggest challenge when starting off in this field? It was not very well accepted. Socially, it was a taboo, okay, to be a chef. Nobody knew what a chef is. You were a khansama, you were a cook. Okay, and you would always be looked uh, down upon, and that is what uh, uh, I had to overcome. Did you attend any of DLC's events, the Intellect Pop Up? Yes, I, I think I, I did attend one larger than life pop up, uh, which was in Bombay. There were uh, a lot of great speakers uh, there, and that's where uh, that was my first very impressive. And I really uh, look forward to many of uh, such pop-ups that are happening. What did you think about the event? I personally took back a lot of uh, memories from that event. A uh, lot of interaction happened between people. And that was something which was very important for me. Any message to young chefs or entrepreneurs? Why should they join DLC? Okay, so that's, uh, it's a very important thing that when you are growing as a chef, being part of such lo large organization helps because you get to uh, learn to get, you, you get connected with people, okay? Thank you so much for this wonderful session, sir. Thank you.